And the Santa Ana winds They're gonna carry me back to This morning in our Saturday sessions, a sign of outlaw country music royalty, Waylon Payne. And no, that is not a stage name. But it does accurately describe the numerous hardships he's had to endure on a long road to redemption. He catalogs his journey in a terrific new album, his first in 16 years. We'll hear him perform from that in a moment. But first, he sat down this week with Anthony Mason. Yeah, it's a crazy world, and the road is long. Named for his godfather, Waylon Jennings, the singer Waylon Payne has country in his blood. You had all the country music credentials you could ask for. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, Sammy Smith. My mom, at the time I was born, was probably one of the biggest stars in country music. Yesterday is dead and gone. His mom, Sammy Smith, won a Grammy for her 1972 smash, Help Me Make It Through the Night. His dad, Jody Payne, played guitar for Willie Nelson. But as an infant, Waylon was sent to live with his aunt and uncle, who were strict Christians. At 18, Payne revealed he was gay and that the family had a dark secret. There was some abuse going on. You were abused? Yeah, it was uh, sex abuse, and that's just the way it was. Yeah. And when it came out, everybody was kind of like, no, we, we don't, don't want to talk about this. We don't believe you, and, and not only that, we don't want you around anymore. He didn't speak to his mother for years. Mama's been crying in the kitchen. Daddy's done left in the truck. What was your relationship with your dad like? I met my dad when I was 16 years old. You met him? Yeah. Oh, 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 the sins of the father are never gonna hang around me no more. But it was your dad also in, who encouraged you to use drugs. Yeah, he was the first person I ever did drugs with. At first it was beer, and then it was whiskey, and then it was coke, and then speed. Payne would become a full-blown junkie. He got by writing hits for other artists, like Leanne Womack. With some solitary thinking and lonesome drinking. And with occasional movie roles. My name is Jerry Lee Lewis. I'm from Louisiana. He played Jerry Lee Lewis in the 2005 Johnny Cash biopic, Walk the Line. Gonna make you do it, make you do it. Another star in the film, the singer Shelby Lynn, tried to help. Shelby believed in my music and was like a sister and a mother, and then was the, the one that sent the tape to my mom and got my mom and I talking again. But when his mom died in 2005, just after he'd released his debut album, Payne's addiction deepened. There were a lot of people that wanted me to get straight and a lot of people that, that thought I would be dead, you know? From some of the lyrics in your songs, it sounds like you thought you should be dead. Yeah, I didn't... Uh, I was alone for a long, long time. And now I'm back from the grave. I'm alone to live in. Not many people had expected anything of me, you know, because I'd burned a lot of bridges, it seems. Yeah. But it was, uh, I don't know if you want to call it a miracle, it was. Just one day there was somebody there that cared and uh, wouldn't let me fall. Payne met a father figure named Edward, whose own son, would inspire him. It was right after I, I started working at Getting Sober, started thinking about it. Lake was born, yeah. Santa Ana Winds is his lullaby that I wrote for him. And the Santa Ana Winds are gonna carry me back to you. April 5th, 2012 was Lake's first birthday, and that was the last time I ever did methamphetamines. How did it feel when those songs started coming? Well, it was the first time in a long time that they had. It led to his first album in 16 years. Oh, blue eyes. The harlot. How do you feel after going through this whole journey? I'm grateful. I'm grateful to be alive. And that's all I want to do is let people know how grateful I am. 